how do we integrate x squared times e to the x? Well, this is the product of an algebraic function, x squared, and a transcendental function, e to the x. That's a common situation where we use integration by parts. And indeed, this is exactly what we're going to use for this integral. To use integration by parts, we need to pick something from our integrand to be u, and something from our integrand to be dv. Typically, for u, we pick something that gets simpler when we differentiate it. A great candidate here is x squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x, so that will work out pretty well. Then e to the x dx can be dv, and that's very easy to integrate. So letting u equal x squared, we have that du is 2x dx. And then letting dv equal e to the x dx, we can integrate that to get v equals e to the x. Now we can go ahead and apply the integration by parts formula uv, so x squared, e to the x, minus the integral of v du, so minus the integral of v, that's e to the x, times du, 2x dx. But again, we have an algebraic function, x, or 2x, multiplied by a transcendental function, e to the x, and we have to integrate this. So again, we need to use parts. Before we apply parts one last time, let's just take that 2 out of the integral. So we have this. And this integral we're going to use parts on just like before. So we'll let u equal x and dv equal e to the x dx. Then letting u equal x, we have that du equals dx. And letting dv equal e to the x dx, of course, we have that v equals e to the x. All right, now we can go ahead and apply the formula. This is what we already had before, x squared e to the x minus 2 times this integral. And then we're going to put this integral in brackets. So now, applying the formula, it's uv, so x times e to the x, which we see there, minus the integral of v du, v du. All right, this integral is very easy. The integral of e to the x is just e to the x. So finally, we can finish this problem. So finally, finishing the integral and distributing the negative 2, we have x squared e to the x from our very first integration by parts, minus 2x e to the x, plus 2 times this integral, which is just plus 2 e to the x, and then plus the arbitrary constant. We can go one step further. Let's say we factor an e to the x out of all this. Doing that, our final answer is e to the x times x squared minus 2x plus 2 plus the arbitrary constant.